How you doing everyone? It's Kevin. I'm back with another video. I'm over here at Ricky's Garage. Uh, he wanted a little water buffalo for his campground. And he wanted to be able to pull it behind his golf cart. Let me show you a little golf cart over here. He's got a little hitch on the back of it. As you can see right there. A little hitch. We yeah, we built all that too. This piece here is all homemade. We built that in there. The bracket that goes on here is homemade. And the hitch itself back in here, the receiver, is homemade. Now we had to buy this, which that's okay. And then he said he wanted the water buffalo. He has a small campground at Big Bear Lake, and he needs to transfer some water. So we came up with this with a bunch of old scrap metal he had setting out back. And uh, it's pretty heavy duty. Eighth inch, eighth inch steel, all eighth inch steel. Got some nice little D rings on there, welded on there for his uh, straps to go on there. And I'll show you the drum. Yeah, well, Ricky's gonna put the drum on there for us. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. Your little ratchet strap will go from there around, and then you'll have one over here go around. And then he's gonna set up a, a little valve on the bottom. So when he gets the water, he can drain it out of the bottom down here, and you'll have a pump on it to pump it right into his camper, which will be really cool. So this trailer, how much how much you have in it, Ricky? I think sixty bucks for the wheels and tires. And about sixty bucks. bucks yeah. Catering. So you're probably looking at about seventy-five bucks, probably. 80 or 90 dollars after you get the paint and everything i'd say but he's gonna have a nice little water buffalo here okay that's what it looks like hooked on there now we just welded those we just drilled mm -hmm. weld those pins ricky's taking out there that hot huh yeah. oh yeah i just welded that whole beam on there now it's probably got pressure down pressure on it, ricky look try this i'll lift up one Oh, wow. Yeah, we need to let it cool down a little bit. I just let it cool down. <laughs> it's a hot one. So that's how we block it up. And then you just ride with it like that. Instead of putting a jack on the front of it, no use in wasting a bunch of money on the jack when you just weld a few pieces of pipe together. I think this thing is going to be awesome when you get it done. We'll see what it looks like when it gets done painted, ain't it? All right, we'll see you guys in a bit. Well, the little water buffalo turned out pretty nice. Rick's going to take it up to camp and give it a try. He's going to fill me in on how it works out. and uh, Hopefully everything works pretty good. I think it will. I would like to tell everyone thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave me a thumbs up, thumbs down, or a comment if you'd like. Until next time.